Okay, now I need you to be quiet, real quiet, because we're sneaking up on the rarest bird I've ever seen. I doubt you've ever seen one of these. They're just exceedingly rare. Exceedingly average told me that, so I know it's the truth. And besides that, I read it on the internet. These are really, really, really rare birds, and they're very timid, so you have to be really careful. Here we go, surprise. There he is. Yes, this is the rare mallard duck. Never, bore, never before seen in captivity. As usual, the females are more noisy though. Here we have a vertical hit and miss engine. Piston goes up and down. It seems like it probably works. None of this stuff's been ran in about four or five years because the guy who was working on it, he passed away and nobody at the museum knows anything about this stuff and or how to operate it or how to fix it and how to make it work. So this is a project and a half. It's cool to look at, but it's much more fun to watch them run. Here's a universal hit and miss. It's got the spring governor on the wheel that pulls out the, dry, uh, the valve train. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Rent runs a cement mixer. It was used last in the 30s to make a living for the guy who owned the store here on the island and here it sits in the museum nobody really knows how to make it run but I might try to figure it out for him I always wanted to tackle something like this here on the donkey engine here you see the spool here's all your gears and your drives of course there's not a guard on anything. This is a Fairbanks Morris Z engine. It runs this. I guess the guys at the Warehouser Lumber Mill cleaned this one up and painted it a few years back. It still has its magneto right here. What a lot of compression this thing is. I can't even turn it over by myself. So this engine should be a runner. Pretty slick stuff. All here at the Fox Island Museum. In need of some tender love and care. We also have an old Fordson tractor that appears that it was in running condition. It's a 1922. Probably also needs a little tender loving care, but I bet it runs. Here's a formal 1946 Model A. Yeah, it's pretty slick. And a little. There's your starter and, no, that's not your starter, that's your magneto to, to run the engine. There's your generator. It's crank start apparently. Nope, nope, there's the starter back there. Right back here, that's your starter. Activated by a pull lever, no doubt. It's got a little flathead engine in it. And this is your fuel tank up here. Actually, no, that's not a flathead. That's got an in valve or uh, in head valve engine. Look at that. Kind of hard to see without pulling it all apart. But this one. They tell me they think it runs. 
I'm not going to be able to come down here too often. I live two hours away, so it's a bit of a trip, but maybe I will see about coming down here every once in a while and trying to get these things working again for them so they can display them.